Welcome back to another episode of Healthy Living with Lador Fit. So today I'm going to show you what I personally eat every morning. And um, the reason why I eat this in the morning is just because I eat it before my workout. And I get my workout in in the morning, but if that was in the afternoon, I would be eating this in the afternoon. So really this is a good you know, pre-workout meal. And so um, it's going to have a little bit of everything. It's going to have carbs, fat, fiber, protein, and... What's really important is that this is one of my most carb heavy, carb heavy meals because, um, and I really just am a firm believer, you know, do what works for you and one size does not fit all, but I'm a firm believer in eating the majority of your carbs before and after you work out to really time it in your day. So today we're gonna to be making oatmeal, but the oatmeal is going to be eaten tomorrow because I'm soaking it overnight. Now you can definitely cook your oatmeal, you know, from the package instructions that it says, but the reason why I prefer to soak it is because soaking the oatmeal will help the starches break down and it reduces the natural phytic acid, which helps your body utilize the oats nutrients much more efficiently. So, let's get started. First, I have hemp seeds, and these are absolutely wonderful source of fat and protein, and they have a lot of iron and magnesium, and I just have a big thing of hold hemp seeds. So always go with the organic. All of these ingredients have the USDA organic label. Um, and so that is always what I'm, you know, going to be working with here. So first I take hemp seeds and you can see that I weigh everything out on my scale. So I've put my bowl at zero and three tablespoons is a serving of hemp, which is going to be 30 grams. So I just make sure that, you know, some tablespoons are a little more overflowing than others. So as long as I have 30 grams, and if you don't have a scale, that's fine as long as you look at what the serving size is. And most things, you, you know, you'll just have your measuring unit, whether it's tablespoons, cups, anything like that. Doing, using a scale is just a more exact way to do it. So now I've got my hemp seeds. This is gonna be 170 calories, one gram of saturated fat, no carbs, and 10 grams of protein. Okay. So now we've got the fat and the protein. Now we're gonna add our fiber in. We're gonna go with flax seeds. I'm gonna put the scale at zero again every time. Now flax seeds is two tablespoons as a serving, which is going to be the same as 14 grams. So I'm gonna add in 14 grams. Like I said, not every tablespoon is created equally. So as long as I get 14, but if you're at home without a scale, it's gonna be two tablespoons. Okay, and now next is chia seeds. The same thing, two tablespoons, 14 grams as a serving. Gonna zero that again. Oh, see that one was already at 14. So some of them are more heaping than others. Now, chia seeds and flax seeds both have a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which is just wonderful for inflammation, for cholesterol, for triglycerides, for cardiovascular health. And it is going to have, each one is going to have 60 calories in both of these. And all of the carbs, only five carbs, are all from fiber. So you can zero that out, no net carbs there. Maybe about two or three grams of protein. So this is gonna be our fiber. So now we've got 170 calories plus 60 each, that's another 120. Now we're gonna go on to the oatmeal. And sometimes in the middle of this, I just give it a little stir. Okay, now oatmeal, one serving of oatmeal is 40 grams of oats. This is just your old fashioned rolled oats and it's gonna have 28 carbs in it, no fat, and maybe about five grams of protein. So I'm gonna put in 40 grams. Now some days when I am Maybe if it is not going to be as intense of a workout, if I'm taking it light, having an active recovery day, I'll put this in half for the carbs, do everything normally, and put this as 20 grams of oats. You can also experiment and do 20 grams of oats and then add fruit for the rest of your carbs, like apple slices. So I'm gonna stir that up, and that is about, that is 150 calories, 28 carbs. Okay, now I'm going to add my medicinal flavoring is what I call it. First, I have my turmeric. Just give a few taps of turmeric. I've got my ginger. And my cinnamon. If you do not have these at home, 
that is fine. You don't need them for this, but it's something that I really recommend because all of these have thermogenic properties, which means that they boost your metabolism and your resting metabolic rate. You're burning more calories, you know, after your workout and for the rest of your day. And I'm gonna mix that up. And then lastly, in order to soak our oatmeal, I'm putting my scale on fluid ounces. And like I said, if you don't have a scale, just make sure that you have a one cup measurement because I'm putting in one cup, eight fluid ounces of almond milk. Now, almond milk is my, um, my you know, non-dairy milk of choice. If you want to do, you know, just typical milk, whether that's whole milk or 2% milk or skim milk, go ahead, or soy milk or, or even water, but I really prefer almond milk. So as long as you have your base to soak it in, if you do any less than eight ounces, you're going to find that in the morning when you go to eat your oatmeal, it is going to be really hard like a block and the chia is not, that the chia is going to absorb nine times as much liquid. Um, and so that's why chia gel is it takes up so much space so right now it looks just like a seed with liquid but it's going to expand and so the oats will expand as well so as long as you have enough liquid your body will be able to digest it properly then after i stir it up i'm gonna put a lid on it i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight but even i've, I've even eaten it like six hours later and it's fine just make sure that you have a good enough window of time so there we go 500 calories one gram of saturated fat 30 carbs, 15 grams of protein.